you guys and welcome to this monthly favorites video. I know I haven't been uploading. I uploaded that one rant video last night, but this is an actual video for my favorites of June. So let's jump into it. So my first favorite is this book called I Was Here by Gail Foreman. She's also the writer of If I Stay, which is another one of my favorites of like forever ago, but the movie came out and I love that too. But anyway, this is really, really good. This is actually recent of hers. It just came out like maybe a couple months ago, month ago, I don't know. Sometime recently it came out. I don't know if it says in here when it came out. This is the first edition, it should say, but no, it does not say when it was printed unless I'm just blind. But it's a really good book. It's sad. It's um, emotional. It just, it's all the feels, okay? It's feels. It's definitely feels, but it's very enlightening on mental illnesses like depression and everything like that and suicide and whatever, and I like that. There's not a lot of books like that, really, you can find, but it's really, really good, and I would recommend it for people to read, so, yeah. My second favorite is this Clear American Pineapple Coconut sparkling water. I know that sounds so fancy and so like white girl, but it's really good. I had it a couple months ago at my friend Sarah's house and I fell in love with it and I drink it more now because I found out where it was from, Walmart, <laughs> Wally World, but it's so good. It's addicting and it's just, I would drink water forever like this. Unless it's a zombie apocalypse and I can't drink it, but yeah. Favorite. My next favorite is this Yankee Candle, which I've been burning to death. As you can see, it's really far down, but it's the Sweet Strawberry, and I love it. It smells amazing. Like, it kind of smells, what is, what is that smell? It smells like, you know those hard strawberry candies that you eat? Yeah, it smells like that but in a jar of a candle and it's amazing. I fell in love with it. My parents had it and they didn't like it so they gave it to me and I love it. It smells so, so good. I'm a candle lover so when they gave me this I was like, yes, candle and like it's my favorite now. So I burn it all the time but I'm trying to conserve it because I love it so much. My next favorite as I said, favorites are shoes that I got actually before I went to California, but which I still need to make a video on that. But anyway, I got these before I went to California, but I never got to put them in a favorites video because I'm behind on all that. But there are these, which are these really cute lacy type shoes that look kind of old, vintagey kind of look, I suppose. But they're super, super cute, and I love them. The moment I saw them, and I had to have them. They're so. Cute. I got them at Payless in their Lower East Side brand. I don't know. I don't know shoe brands. I just wear them. But these are really cute. They're comfortable except you have to get used to the like back and you have to wear the backs out or else they'll rip your ankles open, which I did in California. It was a mistake, but yeah, they're nice. The second shoe is very vintage looking and very just old timey and I was like, yes, 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 because I like old vintagey things and these were perfect. Wow, I, keep, I don't know why I keep clapping. It's just, I don't know. But these are very vintagey looking with the designs on the side. It's just, I don't know how to describe it. And then like the little pumpy heel thingy. But they're just vintage looking and they're Christian Siriano from Payless brand. But these also, you have to get used to the heel. As you can see, it's hard. I haven't worn these often because of the heel, because I have sensitive skin, so it rips it off very easily, and it's not fun. But they're so cute, and I love them, and I want to get them, like, broken out so I can wear them. But they're super cute. I love them, and totally would recommend going to Payless if you want to find them. My next favorite is something that I can't show, but it's something I watch, and you know it's not The Walking Dead. It is Ghost Adventures, which actually I used to watch a lot and then I got creeped out because of experiences I had. So I stopped watching it because I swear my house is haunted. I swear to you. And 
whenever I was in like my lower floor and I would watch Ghost Adventures. I have my basement where I played with an Ouija board. <laughs> I know, you're going to yell at me in the comments or someone's going to yell at me. Someone's going to yell at me somewhere. But I played with an Ouija board and I swear something's in my basement or in my house. It, I have stories about that. But anyway, so I would watch it and I would get this really creepy feeling like someone was standing in my hallway towards my basement like looking at me like you shouldn't be watching that don't do it and I would I just stopped but recently I have started watching it again and I missed it because I love like spooky ghosty things like that and I would totally recommend any of you who also like that to go check it out my last favorite of the month are actually books that are right behind you they are Nicholas Sparks books which are my favorite things ever yes I know it's totally like typical girl like lovey romance dovey stuff but I love it I love them oh my god and recently I was given first editions of a bunch of them and I think it was like nine or ten books I was given and oh my god I just had like a Nicholas Sparks gasm and it was oh my god I was so happy so I have like every book of his now almost I think I was like missing one or so but oh my god so excited I was so happy so excited and that's definitely a favorite of mine this month that I got those oh my god I love him so much. I love his books. I love his writing. I love the movies that are made out of the books. But yeah, I love them so much. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!